first of all uh, welcome in my channel and uh, today i'm going to tell you about my membership plan first of all uh, i will provide you dotnet core video tutorial dapper tutorial rest rest api tutorial angular uh, angular video tutorial and uh, not only video tutorial i will uh, provide you complete source code okay and it's not only a simple video tutorial it's a project based video tutorial so each technology have minimum two projects so guys this is a project based courses in all technologies just 800 rupees and you focus that it's not only a technology it's a roadmap okay so that is the complete roadmap of dotnet core and that video tutorial is providing you a past deal for you okay so first of all i will provide you dotnet core and uh, video tutorial it's not only based uh, it's not only simple video tutorial again i repeat you a uh, project based video tutorial so i will cover it uh, all design patterns and uh, solid patterns and uh, architectural designs okay so uh, i will give you uh, clean architecture based projects okay so uh, that is dotnet core and uh, that dotnet core used entity framework core and sql server in further video i will use adio.net and the dapper and uh, just after that i will use blazor for as a front end and angular as a front end and the react as a front end uh, so use rest api so it's a based on project uh, okay and it's a road map so that we can cover all the topics of the full stack development so this is only 800 rupees i will uh, you will uh, you just pay me 800 rupees and get all video tutorials okay so uh, day by day and uh, if you are belong from other country just pay a dollar 15 and it's only a one time fees that is again i repeat you one time fees just only pay 800 rupees and get the source code and complete video tutorials okay so how to get the deal just fill this form that is your name your email id your contact number contact number is not necessary transaction reference id order id or paypal id if you are belong from india just pay using upi id and uh, just add your transaction reference id uh, and after that uh, if you are belong from other country just use this my uh, paypal id and this is you can use this qr code also okay and submit the form after submit your form you will get a notification uh, via email and uh, start your journey for the membership okay so uh, just find the link of this form in your video description in this video tutorial just i'm going to uh, set some identity configuration in uh, inventory management system because you know that uh, uh, inventory have a uh, security so uh, inventory needs a security so you know that how to configure uh, your uh, identity options in app settings dot json file so first of all stop your application and uh, just add some identity options here like identity default options you can take it as a key identity default options okay that is the key and i want to set uh, some like uh, you know that is password required digits so the first thing is password require digit okay it is uh, make it false oops that is false okay so the next one is password require uh, you know a lower case that is also false and the next one is password require known alphanumeric uh, that is also false and password required uppercase that is false okay and password required length that is six digits okay password required unique characters uh, unique characters at you you can take it zero okay so that is the default you know and the next one is sign in require confirm e uh, email and that is make it false uh, user require unique email uh, user require unique email that is true okay 
and the next one is uh, you know so you can take it another one uh, that is uh, user allowed user name characters uh, so it's not uh, actually needed right here so you can take it uh, related to the password password required digit password required uh, lower case and the length and non alphanumeric characters access denied path and cookie uh, history you can take it here so like you know that is login path and what about the login path is that is account and identity account and login because here we have a identity here and you can say that is these are the pages like this one this is uh, so you can take it identity and before you go just set slash identity slash account slash login okay and the next one is log oops, log out path that's fine and that is access denied path is also mentioned here sliding expiration is also mentioned uh, enable token authentication uh, there is a no need right now I want to add sliding expiration that is true okay and cookie expiration uh, in 150 seconds sorry 150 minutes so cookie expiration is 150 and cookie HTTP only is true so so you can take it Visual Studio IntelliSense code just after this okay lockout max failed access attempts is uh, lockout max failed access attempt is five that's fine and the next one is lockout default uh, lockout default lockout time span uh, lockout max failed lockout default lockout time span in minutes actually uh, time span lockout default lockout time span uh, in minutes okay it that is in, in minutes and lockout uh, you know for new users lockout allowed for new users that is true that is the default configuration you can say uh, and require confirmation email and require confirmation email I mean to say that if a user uh, need to confirm your email that is you know it's not uh, needed right now okay so you can set it in the program.cs file okay that's fine it's a cool uh, default identity options how to configure these options in program.cs file okay uh, so get access all default options in program.cs file and here you can see that here we have a you know uh, that is builder.service.configure super admin it's fine now I want to just after this it's fine so here we have a connection string and application DB connection string is fine you know now just after that I want to configure your identity and here we have a identity you can say builder.service.identity you application user and identity role so uh, but before I, I want to configure all these options as well so how to configure uh, get identity default options first of all from the app settings suggestion file so you can say that here you can say i configure uh, i configuration section here i con i configuration section and uh, i configuration section you can just take it a name that is identity default option configuration section identity identity default option options okay identity default options and you can just take it builder dot configuration dot get section builder dot configuration uh, dot get section and what about the section is the section name is 
that is identity default options instead of email configuration so you can take it identity default option here so you know that uh, that section is here that is identity default option okay so how to configure this section so you know that that is i want to add identity default options as a class okay so you can take it identity default option as a class so you can use it here uh, that is the account section and here we have a area section and i want to use it in the utilities so uh, here we have a utility folder and inventory.utilities also there like helper class db initializer id initializer i role inventory role inventory and and the top menu like that so uh, i want to add a options here uh, because all these options are set to here so just add a identity default options as a utility you can treat as or you can treat as as a service okay so you know um, here we have a repository utility and uh, okay so right now i'm going to use it here and create a new class that is oops the name is different identity default options okay so the name of the class is must to match with the identity default options so just right click on it add a new empty file identity default options dot cs file now you can take it uh, the different uh, options that is available in app settings dot session file and must match with the name okay so you know here we have a, a different types of options available in this these are so you can just take it copy and paste it there okay so the first one is uh, that is password required digits that's fine the next one is password required lower case that's fine and the next one is password require uh, non alphanumeric that's fine and uh, the next one is uh, that is the visual studio feature okay so password uh, required uppercase that's cool the next one is password required length that's cool and uh, here we have a password require unique characters that is in the integer types and password require unique characters that is zero okay and sign in require confirmation email that is cool and the next one is password uh, user require unique email that is user sign in require confirmation email this one and after that user require unique email it is automatically getting okay that that feature is available you know generative ai so you can use use this generative ai uh, login path that is string login path okay that's cool and logout path also cool and uh, access denied okay and the next one is uh, sliding expiration that's cool and uh, okay sliding expiration cookie expiration that's cool and uh, lockout max failed access attempts okay that's also cool oops okay and mm, lockout default uh, time in span is minutes very cool lockout all uh, allowed for the new users that's cool so here we go and now you know uh, it's automatically close like that so i want to uh, remove from here and these are the options here now i want to uh, use it use this identity default option here uh, so just copy that and here we go for to configure it so builder dot services dot configure identity default options and you know uh, here we have a identity default options uh, identity default options is passed it here to the class okay so builder dot service dot add add db context here uh, okay identity options 
uh, identity default option section you can just put it here okay so the name is different different from this one okay now i want to create a variable just after that identity default option identity default options and identity default options is there with the identity default option section dot get uh, identity default options okay now after that we can configure this uh, identity here and that one is the identity just cut it from here and paste it there now just i want to use this identity default option uh, inside your uh, add identity uh, you know as a options here so you can use option here and visual studio ai is automatically you know uh, fill these entity uh, fill these entries with the identity default options okay so here we have a lots of you know um, there is a no need to add something extra visual studio automatically fill these uh, entries like uh, password settings okay so you just write it in the comment and uh, what visual studio is automatically uh, fill these entries like options dot password dot required digits and fill with the identity default options dot password required digits and the next one is options dot password required lowercase uh, it, it, it's fine require non alphanumeric characters and fine okay that one is the password required uppercase okay lowercase require unique digits it's a unique characters so options dot password dot required length uh, okay and the next one you require unique characters okay that's uh, it's related to the passwords okay and uh, options dot logout and you know that here we have a logout settings okay i want to know about the logout settings options dot logout dot allowed new users uh, okay uh, default time span okay in minutes okay max field okay these are the logout settings and the next one is user settings okay that's cool it's automatically picked from um, you know uh, it's uh, actually uh, read all these uh, files by the AI systems and uh, you know it's printed automatically options dot user require email okay that is the user settings and the next one is uh, require email settings it's uh, one features I think and the next one is email settings sign in settings you can say options dot sign in uh, dot require confirmation email that's cool and I think it's one only so here we have all the settings lockout settings and user settings and sign in settings and every everything I think I know okay so just after that you can use add entity add default token providers add entity framework store where you can store all these uh, configuration or you can say uh, user data like uh, application db context is no uh, and this one is the add default token provider during the email settings so you can uh, save your email settings as well